வணக்கம் ஐ வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் திஸ் ஃபவுண்டேஷன் ப்ரோக்ராம் இன் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் கோர்ஸ் இஸ் ப்ரெசென்டட் ஃபார் யூ பை வித்யாலட்சுமி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் வெல்லூர் திஸ் இஸ் ஆர் தேர்ட் வீடியோ மாடியூல் ஆஃப் லெசன் இன் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி வீடியோ மாடியூல் வி ஆர் சால்விங் ஃபைவ் நியூமரிக்கல் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் த டாபிக் ஆஃப் இண்டிசஸ் அண்ட் பை த சேம் வே இன் திஸ் கிளாஸ் ஆல்சோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் ஃபைவ் நியூமரிக்கல் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ஓகே நாவ் லெட் அஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் ஆர் லெசன் வித் ஆர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஆஃப் திஸ் டாபிக் Yes, we are uh, seeing the first question over the screen, which shows that minus 3 by 2 all power minus 1. We have to find the value of minus 3 by 2 whole power minus 1. Okay. First, I want to take the question. This is going to be a very easy question, very simple question. You can see that minus 3 by 2, the whole power minus 1 it is given. So, what I notice here, I can see that uh, we are having a... Uh, exponent which is negative negative exponent so what we have to use we have to use the rule of negative exponent that is the law of negative exponent uh, what we are having if the if the exponent is like this that is if it is in the form of a by b the whole power minus 1 then we can write directly as b by a it is nothing but the inverse a by b the whole inverse equal to b by a by the same way here you can see that we are having minus 3 by 2 whole inverse that is minus 3 by 2 whole power minus 1 minus 3 by 2 raised to minus 1 okay then this minus 3 by 2 what it will become it will become 2 by 3 and just don't worry about this minus actually this minus symbol belongs to the fraction 3 by 2 we are not worried about that this minus symbol we are worried about the negative sign which is there in the exponent okay which is there in the power okay so what i wanted to tell you just simply we can uh, make the reciprocal of this minus 3 by 2 which is which we can write like 2 by minus 3 and 2 by minus 3 is nothing but minus 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 this 2 by minus 3 we can write like minus 2 by 3 am i right okay so minus 2 by 3 is the answer for this question and uh, option b is uh, getting matched with our answer and let us check the answer we are having um Yes, minus two by three is the correct answer, and it is option B. Option B. Okay. Yes. Let us now move to the second question. Yeah, it is uh, a little big expression here. It is given, but it is also going to be a simple question. Please don't worry about that. Okay. I just uh, I want to take the question without any mistake. So three square three raised to two minus two square. multiplied by the whole multiplied by 2 by 3 the whole power minus 3 when i am writing the question itself i noticed that we are having a negative exponent here we are having the exponent minus 3 there negative exponent okay right uh, we will be applying the rule for negative exponent here okay uh, and here we are having just 3 raised to 2 and 2 raised to 2 Then this is going to be a simple calculation because 3 square you know that 3 into 3 9 and this is 2 square 2 into 2 it is going to become what 4 yes these are going to be a a simple calculation uh, so 3 square is 9 and minus 2 square is 4 multiplied by here again i need to apply the rule of negative exponent just before pro um, the problem that we saw before also it is in the form of a by b the whole power minus m so when you are having like this what does the rule says we have to take the reciprocal of this fraction that is we have to take b by a and this minus m will become plus m okay we need to change the negative exponent to positive exponent by applying this rule so what it will become here we are having 2 by 3 no this 2 by 3 will become what 3 by 2 and this minus 3 will become plus 3 so in solving this kind of expressions i will be noticing over only the negative exponent because we have to convert that negative exponent into positive exponent and then only we can able to proceed for to do the calculation okay so i have changed this negative exponent minus 3 to plus 3 by taking reciprocal of the base the base we are having is 2 by 3 okay it becomes 3 by 2 next easily i can do the calculation because 9 minus 4 you know that uh, 5 and 5 multiplied by here what you are having 3 by 2 raised to 
that is that means 3 by 2 has to be multiplied 3 times so 3 by 2 into 3 by 2 into 3 by 2 and uh, now we have to multiply no other way 3 3 is are 9 9 3 is are 27 27 multiplied by 5 27 multiplied by 5 you will be getting 135 135 by 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 135 by 8 is the answer for this question and uh, yes it is actually there we are having option option D having 135 by 8 so option D must be the correct answer for this let us check the answer we are having the answer here for our yes for our verification yes 135 by 8 the same answer we are getting uh, option D we got the same answer do you understand yes now we are moving to the fourth uh, sorry uh, third question uh, moving to the third question yes third question is also a little big expression we are having but I tell you that it is very much easier for to solve this and in the beginning itself I noticed that we are having here negative exponent here negative exponent and also here negative exponent and here also negative exponent so we are having lot of negative exponents in this expression so that we will be applying the rule of negative exponent several many times for each and every term okay see I am going to take the question 1 by 3 the whole power minus 2 minus 1 by 2 the whole power minus 3 divided by oh we are having divide symbol here 1 by 4 the whole power minus 3 ok. First I want to make this negative exponent to be positive so for that I am going to make this 1 by 3 as yes 3 by 1. So 3 by 1 whole power plus 2 it will become followed by 1 by 2 will become what 2 by 1 and this minus 3 will become plus 3 am I right then followed by 1 by 4 will become 4 by 1 and this minus 3 will become what plus 3 when I apply the rule of negative exponent yes. So in the next step you can see that this is nothing but 3 by 1 3 by 1 is nothing but 3. So 3 square is 3 into 3 9 and here we are having a 2 cube we are having oh here it is cube 2 power 3 that means we have to multiply 3 times 2 into 2 into 2 we will be getting 8 am I right. So 9 minus 8 ok the whole divided by this 4 cube 4 cube 4 when you multiply 4 3 times 4 into 4 into 4 you will be getting 4 4 are 16 and 16 4 are 64 you will be having. So in the next step I want to simplify furthermore. 9 minus 8 is 1, yes 1 uh, and uh, divided by 64 we are having, 1 divided by 64 we can write like 1 by 64, 1 divided by 64 is 1 by 64, yes 1 by 64, yes 1 by 64 option A. Option A, 1 by 64. Fourth question, in this question also we are having uh, exponents, ok. What I noticed, this exponent minus 8 is having, yeah it is a negative exponent. So I want to take the question as usual without making any mistake, without making any mistake, minus 1 by 5 the whole power 3 divided by minus 1 by 5 the whole power minus 8 ok. In the beginning I told you that uh, these two when I take these two uh, exponential expressions I can see that uh, this minus 8 is having negative exponent am I right yes negative minus 5 is having negative exponent but another one more thing that uh, flashes in my mind it is that we are having the same base here here also minus 1 by 5 base the base we are having here is the same 1 by 5 minus 1 by 5 same bases are in division so what we can do we can apply the rule of the exponents that is the quotient rule for exponents okay what does it say is it says that if it is like a power m divided by a power n this can be written in the form of 
a power m minus n. This is what the rule says. The quotient rule for x1 we are having here a power m by a power n is equal to a power m minus n. So that we are going to use here because here you can see that the, the bases are same by the same way here also the bases are same base here minus 1 by 5 here also minus 1 by 5. So the place a is a is replaced by minus 1 by 5 okay. So what we can have as because of that these two is in division we can apply that rule and we will be having what see minus 1 by 5 the common base I need to take and the powers must be subtracted that is this m and n are subtracted here m minus n appearing here no. So by the same way this 3 and this minus 8 has to be subtracted you understand yes m minus n at the place of m 3 is occupied and at the place of n minus 8 is occupied. So because of that we have to put 2 minuses because already one minus is there in the question and we have to subtract because of this formula okay right then next step you can see that minus 1 by 5 the whole power 3 minus into minus it will become plus 8 and 8 plus 3 you will be having what minus 1 by 5 the whole power 11. So minus 1 by 5 whole power 11 we are having it in option option B is the correct answer yes it must be the correct answer and we can check the answer also here yeah minus 1 by 5 the whole power 11 is the correct answer and now we are going to the last question of this session okay uh, this is also going to be a similar question as such uh, we studied before now because here also we are having the same base here 2 by 5 minus 2 by 5 and here also minus 2 by 5 and these two are related by division symbol. So we have to apply the rule for rule for exponent what rule for exponent the quotient rule for exponent okay what does it says a power m by a power n is equal to a power m minus n. So this is the quotient rule for exponent and that we have to apply here okay see first of all uh, I need to take down the question without any mistake minus 2 by 5 the whole power 7 divided by minus 2 by 5 the whole power minus 5 okay I have taken the I had taken the question then in the next step you can see that I want to proceed with that formula a is replaced by minus 2 by 5 the base and the m is replaced by 7 and the n is replaced by minus 5 here okay. So a power m minus n that is minus 2 by 5 power m minus n that is 7 minus minus 5 which is equal to minus 2 by 5 the whole power 7 plus 5 you will be having because minus into minus it will become plus. So 7 plus 5 is what how much you are getting minus 2 by 5 the whole power 7 plus 5 is 12 yes 12. So minus 2 by 5 the whole power 12 yes minus 2 by 5 the whole power 12 we are having it in option C yes option C is the correct answer for this question and uh, let us we can check our answer yes minus 2 by 5 the whole power 12 is the answer and it is option C getting matched with our answer okay yes we came to the end of this session I hope that our class is very much useful for you please make use of our class and each and every video in the description area you will be having our class notes and also one assignment is provided for you to practice at your home and practice it at your home become a good student in mathematics okay and finally I want to tell you like our video if you like it and share with your friends and also comment over our video and finally and finally God bless you all thank you.